Well, Eric, it is an absolute catastrophe. It is a crisis at our southern border. 9.6 million illegal immigrants have crossed under Joe Biden. Every American family is less safe as a result of the crime that is coming into this country, as a result of the Mexican drug cartels making billions of dollars, as a result of over 100,000 drug overdoses in the last year, including 70 percent of that is from Chinese fentanyl flooding across the border. And then on top of that, the added risk of terrorism, particularly since October 7th, since the war in Israel, I think the odds of a major terror attack in the United States in 2024 are higher than they have been at any time since September 11th. And, and look, this story right here uh, about the James Madison High School, it is an outrage. New York is putting 2,000 illegal immigrants into the James Madison High School. They're throwing the kids out. It shows, sadly, the Democrats, their priority is not your children. The children who are supposed to be going to high school, they're being forced into re remote learning. Mind you, it's the same thing Democrats did for a year or more shutting down schools all across this country. I've introduced legislation called Schools Not Shelters that would mm. cut off federal funds to any school that is used to house illegal aliens because this is an abuse of power and it comes down to their priorities. The Democrats put politics above the welfare of our children. Senator, you mentioned a couple of things. By the way, I'm sure the irony is not lost on two people who uh, live by the con live and die literally by the Constitution. You and I are both constitutionalists. James Madison, a founding father, rolling over in his grave, knowing what they're doing to this this great country. Yeah. The money, Senator. The money. I, I did a monologue a couple of days ago. I think it, it really stuck out. I, I believe the Biden administration is letting this happen so that they can spend the way they're spending and get an economic stimulus out of this. I think they're going to spend upwards of a trillion dollars over the four years of Biden being president on housing, on hotels, on California health care, on all these people. And they can do it by buying the votes quietly, yes, but it also, it's their way of stimulating the economy. Unfortunately for the American people, it's driving up prices and they're not benefiting. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on that? Look, I, I think that's certainly right, but I think it is also fundamentally for the Democrats about power. They look at these 9.6 million illegal immigrants and they see them as future Democrat voters. And, and they want to stay in power. That matters more to them than anything else. As long as Democrats are in office, they're happy. And it means they're willing to look the other way and ignore all of the people who are dying crossing illegally. Last year, 853 migrants died crossing illegally into this country. That's almost three per day. They're willing to overlook the thousands upon thousands of children who are brutalized by human traffickers. The Democrats aren't concerned about that at all. They're willing to overlook the thousands upon thousands of women who are brutally raped by human traffickers. The Democrats won't do anything to stop that. They're willing to overlook the Americans dying of fentanyl because why? They look at these as more votes. They want New York to stay blue. They want the White House to stay Democrat. They want the Senate to stay Democrat. And, and if people have to die to keep the Democrats in power, they're willing to make that trade. It is profoundly cynical. And, and I think it's immoral.